Even when there was just one breath left of my life, I turned into a verse. When I got hold of a threat from the collar, I turned into a melody. Tired and weary, I slept in the lap of your sight.
Herzlichen Dank und herzlich willkommen. Thank you so much. And a warm welcome from us from stage. I was told it's better to talk English tonight. I hope it's fine for everyone here. Um, it's a big pleasure to be here in this amazing hall. What a place. And we've had very intensely beautiful days of playing and rehearsing and exploring. It's the first time we are together on stage. First time we met each other even a couple of days ago. And I'm thrilled that uh, I got invited for this wonderful series, which I think is so important. Um, my father was from Afghanistan. I grew up and was born in Germany. So I'm only half Afghan, and I don't claim to sing in the traditional Afghan way, which I really admire. But I can't deny that the words, the language, and also the music have not influenced me heavily on my musical journey. And in Afghanistan, you have a really deep tradition of poetry. And tonight, we share, we shed light on the Pashto poetry. We will also play tunes in other languages, in English, a Rumi poem, and some more surprises. The first song you heard um, is a really old poem, the title Yautar de Grewan. The translation means a threat from the collar. So the English words you heard me say in the beginning were the words I later sang in Pashto. We'll continue with a very strange thing. We will play now a Norwegian old ancient folk song or a hymn you could say that has been translated and reinterpreted, first reinterpreted and then translated into Pashto. And um, it's been a really interesting process because we took out the things that were like, you know, too restricting heavily. And then this, these old Norwegian church songs turned almost into Sufi poems. And then an, a Pashto poet translated it. It's called Journey of Life. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
的酸。Klavier Percussion. Leila Sol de Villa. Kontrabass. Vielen Dank. Thank you.
The piece by Leila Sovila Pigment Vert. The next song is a song I wrote on a poem by a female poet from the 17th century in Afghanistan. Her name was Nazo Tuki. She is something like a legend, you could say, in Afghanistan. She wrote several poems, but this one is her most well-known. It's called Narges, which is the flower Narcissus, and it is about seizing the moment, the one moment when the flower blooms and the next moment when it falls apart nargis Ma 
Lovely to be here with you, all of you. We've been here, this is, um, I think, the fifth, yeah, the fifth one, with Roots to our series. And um, as most of you know, this is the year of Afghanistan. And this chapter is about the contemporary uh, interpretation of Pashtun poetry with seeming thunder. <coughs> um, this is such a beautiful culture. Um, I've heard um, since long ago about the Pashtun culture, um, the poets, the female poets, uh, that Simi knows better than me. And unfortunately, um, because of the situation that we are facing now, a lot of things are sabotaged from this culture. And we are tonight here to show you the beautiful side of the Pashtun culture. Um, there are many, uh, but we are offering an interpretation of the poetry of Pashtun. And this has been a lovely journey together with these amazing ladies on the band. And hopefully you will enjoy the rest of the evening. Um, most of the uh, pieces were Simin's pieces. Some um, are from us. Uh, there was one piece from Leila. There is one piece from Nora. And the next piece is my piece, which is called The Echoes of Blame. This song is about all the noise and all the blamings and uh, all the accusations that comes towards each one of us in life. And it is our choice to just stand against them or just dance beautifully. So they just pass by. Thank you.
Mehdi Aminian. I don't know if I am non-existence. I don't know. I don't know if I am non-existence while I exist. But I know for sure when I am I am not, but I know for sure when I am, I am not, but when I am, I am, then I am. In this world, I have many times died and been born again. That is why, after a long and agonizing life, I finally let go and became free. Sure. 
چه دانستم که سودا مرا انسان کند مجنون چه دانستم که این سودا مرا انسان کند مجنون دلم را دوزخی سازد دو چشمم را کند جیهون دانم های بسیار است نیکن من نمیدانم 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 چه دانستم که این سودام مرا از انسان چه دانستم که این سودام مرا از انسان کند مجنون
Thank you. Alvin Ahmadi, she will be back, maybe. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah, so the last uh, piece you heard was an improvisation we did on a poem that a contemporary female poet from Afghanistan wrote. She uh, wrote it actually for my last album. I'm very grateful to have been cooperating with her. Her name is Sohaila Hazrat Nazimi. She's a journalist and poet who moved to Germany several years ago. And yes, this, uh, the meaning of this poem or the main line was, why don't you let your heart speak? Thank you. 
guess this next piece is a poem that my father wrote when he still lived in Kabul as a young man. He came to Germany in the end of 1960s. And my father was a journalist, but also a poet. But this I found out later after he had passed away. He passed away when I was uh, four years old. And many, many years later, I heard that he wrote lots of poems. And it was just a period where I started to sing in Pashto because I didn't grow up with the language due to the fact that he passed away so early. And I always had this craving for singing in Pashto, but I think I didn't dare to do it because it felt really emotionally loaded. And so on my second solo album, um, I, I wanted to do it, I felt. Now is the time. And then I had this really super simple melody and these few chords. And uh, I was looking for a poem, which was not so easy to find a poem by my father. It was everything in... You know, I couldn't read it. It wasn't in the uh, English language. And after all, long story, I found it in a library somewhere of a friend in Pakistan. And strangely enough, the verses just fit perfectly to the melody I had composed. And uh, it's a poem about the deep longing for the home inside of yourself, the core the Kor Arman. Thank you. <laughs> Ich 
שבשקה למחר בלתה כלם פרוס. דיווש מפשחן נוחלם בבדיאקי. ימות עליי סטפיאן בשיירה Thank you so much. So we arrived to play the last tune tonight, unfortunately. And it's time to introduce everyone once again. Please give a warm applause to the multitasking <laughs> queen. <laughs> we also played a composition by hers, by the way, before her beautiful percussion solo, the Rumi poem that was her composition. Nora Thiele! From Paris, a very warm applause to the wonderful Leila Soldevilla. Soldevilla. Hello. Yes. Yeah.
And once more, just as warm applause, wonderful. It was uh, a wonderful t- decision and just wonderful idea to bring her in. I'm very pleased to have met you or to meet you. Warm applause for the beautiful Arvin Ahmadi. And for me, a very, very huge thank you for the invitation and this amazing organization and this initiative. I don't have words to express how grateful I am that this exists and uh, that you realize this in such a wonderful way and that you're also such an amazing musician. Wow. So give it up for Mehdi Aminian. And the passionate singer, someone who is really trying to dig and keep this culture alive in her, in her own interpretation. And this is so important to have these days. In particular, as I told you, this culture. She has other works you can check out. Um, um, she, she's, she's one of the best jazz singers in Europe. Um, and this particular culture that we are doing, this is so important what she's doing. Please give an applaud for Simin Thunder. So here might be a chance for you to join us, maybe from where you're sitting. Everyone will come. <laughs> So when I, when I invite you, please feel free and just sing along.
Thank you so much. This is so kind of you. So we rehearsed long enough that we have one more song. And I think everything has been said for tonight, at least. Thank you for coming. Also, a um, big thank you to the sound and the light, everyone here in the theater, helping to making this happen. Good 